The Prime Minister insists she won't cut public spending to pay for her multi-billion pound package of tax cuts. Have you wrecked the economy, Prime Minister? Time for another U-turn. Liz Truss has been defending her economic plans during her first Prime Minister's questions since the Chancellor's mini-budget. What we will make sure is that over the medium term, the debt is falling. But we will do that not by cutting public spending, but by making sure we spend public money well. Does she think the public will ever forgive the Conservative Party if they keep on defending this madness and go ahead with a kamikaze budget? It comes as official figures show the risk of the UK falling into a recession has increased. Also on the programme, human remains are discovered in a house in Milton Keynes by officers investigating the disappearance of a teenager in 2019. Blood supplies in England run critically low and it's NHS staffing problems that are mainly to blame. Joining forces, how three of the UK's biggest conservation groups are challenging what they call the government's attack on nature. And the only Fools and Horses star, Sir David Jason, on his collapse with Covid this summer. Later on BBC London, we will do better, a promise to Londoners from the head of the Met Police. And the challenge for the capital's food banks as demand goes up, but donations go down. And a BBC investigation shows how displaced families in Syria are begging for money on TikTok, which then keeps a big slice of the proceeds. All eyes on London once again. The date's been set for the King's coronation, but there are questions over just how big the event should be. Police have released an image of the person they urgently want to speak to after a 57-year-old man was stabbed, apparently at random, near the Tower of London. It happened in Trinity Square yesterday afternoon. Measures to limit the spread of bird flu have come into force in large parts of Essex. More than 160 cases have been confirmed across the country since last October. From today, birds in the affected areas must all be kept undercover. A man with an apparent fixation on accessing royal grounds has pleaded guilty to trespassing at Buckingham Palace. 33-year-old Daniel Bridges is due to be sentenced next month after he admitted trying to gain entry to the palace twice last December. The Prime Minister, Liz Truss, has committed to abolishing no-fault evictions after reports the government should move to shelve the ban, which was promised by Boris Johnson in 2019. It would stop landlords evicting tenants for no reason. From Brixton to blockbuster films, the horse charity now training with a Hollywood stunt team.